Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a short energy check in for fire signs. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind, this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. Sorry, the, the camera is not really straight. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, what I was saying. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share and comment, this will help the channel, the channel to grow a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. Let's see. seems there is no general message today. Oh, there is. Magician, Tower, Ten of Swords. I don't know if this is your energy, fire signs, or that. This is the energy of the situation or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody came to a situation full of hope. Thinking that they are the magician. And they can make things happen anytime they want. And I believe with this energy. It seems that this person took their like took his or her time thinking they have plenty of time to do what they want to do or to start what they want to start or to build what they want to build and suddenly a tower moment came mixed the situation and turn it upside down this person was thinking that everything is under control and they can do what they want to do. They can act the time they want because they have like the situation is there. It's not going anywhere. But something happened here. Something shocking, sudden happened, destroyed everything. And this person now is in the Ten of Swords because they were having a plenty of time to take the decision to start something or to do something or to act towards something. But they waste their, the time and now they don't have that luxury of picking the time to start. This person wasted the time and they lost the situation. With this Ten of Swords, I believe this person feels that they lost. I don't know if this is you or an energy you are dealing with. Let's see. I will start today with Aries. This is your person, Aries. This is you. You are connected to the three cards we saw in the beginning, Aries. And this is the outcome. This your person or the energy that you are dealing with they have the nine of cups temperance three of cups and the hanged man for you we have the two of wands the five of swords and the ace of coins my real feeling in this situation areas that both parties here we're in the same energy like the one we saw before. 
this person has the nine of cups they felt that they are so happy being around you and they wanted everything with you then between the temperance and the three of cups they were kind of meditating or analyzing the situation thinking when is the right time to approach you with this three of cups and because they wasted the time they are hanged right now and for you you have the two of ones the five of swords and the ace of coins you were indecisive in the beginning not knowing what you want and you started to be in this five of swords conflicted doesn't know if this is the right thing to do or not and i believe there is a mirroring in here because each one of you is picking on the other one energy and it's kind of an action and a reaction at the same time when you were conflicted with this five of swords this person was ready but they were trying to control themselves or wait because they felt the conflicting energy from your side and right now you are holding or this is maybe we are here right now and in the future the near future you will be in the ace of coins ready to give this person the coin to start and this person will be in the hanged man thinking is this the right situation or not because each one of you is picking on the other person energy it seems everything here is right but both parties they don't have the strength to start they are indecisive not knowing when is the right time to start while both people here want each others it's a game of starting timing but and when the time will be long little by little the passion will go down you you will lose both of you will lose that passion inside of you and that feeling that come with the beginning of a relationship when it's all the time like running after each other's not really starting something both parties will feel tired by time and the flame will die let's see the king of cups it seems this situation finally will happen who will start i don't know but it will happen this beginning will be reality instead of analyzing calculating thinking deciding or not deciding it will be reality how i don't know i can't answer that question well thank you so much aries good luck with this don't waste something nice based on being indecisive, not knowing what to do. And sometimes it's a bit of ego from both sides, wanting the other person to start. Leo, your turn. Let's see. This is you. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. I have so many cards from the Aries reading. I have the King of Cups, the Temperance, I'm, and the Ace of Wands. Let's see. And this is our outcome. You have feelings, deep, true feelings towards someone from a very long time. And that someone 
with this temperance here was trying to find the balance in their life and they were more and this is how I felt pretending to be balanced or trying to find balance and that was a very long process till you get tired from this this person was pretending that they are balanced and they are trying to find the right balance in their life where based on my feelings to this card right now, this person is an ass. They have so many things at the same time to do and they don't know what, what, where to start and what to do. Too many responsibilities, too many things, and too many stuff in their plate. And this person, in general, is not organized. And when things start to come a lot on their head, they will lose control about everything. But they were showing people that they are balanced and everything under control, but they are not ready right now because they are busy. This is a lie. This person is a mess. Now, we have from your side the star, from this person's side the ace of coins. You were hoping, and I believe with this star here, Leo, after that long time with this situation, you are hoping for happiness and a calm energy just like to bring to bring a calm energy to your life i don't think with this star here you are still hoping for this person or praying for this person to come to your life i believe you are wishing for happiness regardless with this person or with anyone else this person with this ace of coins they are holding this pentacle hard because they don't know if they are ready to give it to you and they don't know if you will accept it if they will go to you as i told you this person has so many responsibilities do you see how red their fingers are i don't know why this captured my eyes this time this person is pressing on this pentacle they don't want to lose it because they don't know when they can offer you this based on what they have here. And you are here, I believe, you are here giving your back to, to this situation, doing your, your thing, healing yourself, and wishing for happiness in your life. With or without this person, it doesn't matter anymore. This person with this word here, they need to close the cycle in their life and I believe they are dreaming about closing this cycle but that closing this cycle is not something easy to do and I feel with these two dancing here this person is dreaming about getting out of all these responsibilities and prepare their life and be happy with you in here but I, I believe this is more a dream than reality as I told you this person it seems they were because they were not organized from the past and they have that impulsive energy they put themselves in so many situations they don't know how to come out of it now I cannot ignore that this person is trying to balance themselves they are hoping for the right results using the wrong ways to reach there. This person is still confused, doesn't know where to start. They think if they are like, if they calm down and meditate and feel relaxed, things will work by itself. This person need a plan. If they will not have a plan or put a plan in their life, they will not come out of this energy. 
And for you here, I see the page of wands. You are about to, in a very near future, to enter a new energy in your life. With this page of wands, I believe you are ready to go to explore life and find your happiness wherever, wherever the path will take you. You are not right now, and I believe this is a beautiful energy for you, Leo. And this energy will bring you happiness because you are looking for happiness, but you are not fixated in, on anything, not a person, not a situation, not a place. You are ready to accept whatever life will give you. And this is the very right energy to be happy. Let's see the outcome. The Four of Swords. This situation need a lot of time of healing. And I believe this card is for this person. Because with this star here, I believe you healed yourself. Pretty, you did really a great job in healing. You are, I, I'm not feeling the energy of somebody obsessed with something, wanting that something badly. I feel a relaxed face of a little girl wishing for the best and trusting the divine and accepting whatever life will give her. If you see this calm face on this girl here, I believe this Four of Swords, the healing energy, is what will happen in this person's life. And you are here, not connected to this situation anymore. I don't feel a connection here. I feel this three cards here is totally in the, like separated than the rest. I don't feel that you are uh, connected with this person or you have an energy like energetically you are connected to them or you want them really in your life. You want happiness full stop. You are not fixed on anyone. Beautiful energy, Leo. Beautiful energy. This person needs a lot of work. Like spiritual, spiritual work and real work in life with this mess that they are in. Okay, let's move now to Sagittarius. This is your person. And this is you. For your person, we have the Ten of Wands, Strength, and the Queen of Coins. For you, the, the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Empress. And we have the Three of Cups in the middle. I feel both of you want, it seems this is an energy from the past, Sagittarius. Someone was in your life, but not anymore right now. I don't know if this situation ended from a very long time or just recently. Regardless of how long the separation is, this person was in the Ten of Wands. They were really, it seems that there was so many responsibilities in this person's life and they felt the Ten of Wands after the separation. This person was in a bad situation. 
maybe emotionally and I feel financially, I think as well. Maybe they lost a job or they lost money, but they were not in a good place. They were so tired and it seems something ended. There is a death energy in their life. But this person gathered the strength with this strength card here and they started to build their life again. Because it seems here they were completely destroyed in so many aspects of life. This person gathered the strength to build themselves again and they are about to reach this queen of coins energy. Independent, grounded, with that mature, loving, caring energy. And it's almost like the energy that you are in or you are about to be in with this Empress here. I think during the separation until now with this Six of Cups here, I believe Sagittarius, you understood the situations and the circumstances that were in this person's life. And even though you are in a you went different path, both of you, and you were in a separation. Whatever the situation was, you understood that this person was forced to leave you, or there was something bigger than them pushing them to leave. Even if they did something wrong to you, but you know deep inside you that there is something behind bigger than this misunderstanding between you and them. And you've kept that loving energy toward them, wishing them all the best and letting them go in a very mature way. Dealing with that separation was a, like a shocking energy of somebody who is very mature. And the way that you dealt with this separation, make this person love you and respect you even more. But they knew, they, they knew at that time that they cannot go back. They have a mission. They have something to finish first. During that, you were in the three of ones trying to come out of this energy. I can't ignore that you were sad in a dark place trying to push yourself out of there because you love this person and you miss them. You really miss them. This person was very deep in all the problems that they had and I don't think they had the time to think about love or miss or anything. This person was like working day and night. I don't think they, they had time to eat or sleep properly. Being in this energy, trying to take yourself out of this three of one's energy of waiting in this dark place. During that, you healed yourself, Saj. You healed and you built the strength inside you and you became this empress, full of peace full of peace. You are accepting everything from life with an open heart, full of peace and harmony with everything around you. You are very, you became very thankful, very happy, accepting whatever life will give you. And that calming energy this person, I believe, they picked up on it. You being that calm and in this peaceful place, energetically give the strength to this person and brought, and you gave them unintentionally that peace in their heart, that confident that they can do what they want to do. I believe this person is about to reach this queen of coins energy 
And there is a coming back between you and this person. Let's see the outcome. The Four of Cups. I believe either you or them, you are unhappy alone. And both of you were not interested in anything in front of you and hiding that cup of love that you hold to each other's in a very private place, not letting anyone touch it. Do you see the cup here? I believe with this three of cups here, you and this person are going back together. Maybe not today and to, or tomorrow, but you are. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate everything you're doing to me and to this channel. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.